Estelle, natural born of the void, is basically amygdala from Bloodborne, however, extremely watered down here combat wise. The presentation is very nice, but that doesn't sell me personally. This is easily a one minute review type boss, however, since the boss is constantly transporting away along with the text that doesn't allow much space, I'm afraid, we're looking at a three minute review, so I'll express how I feel about every attack since there isn't that many of them. The comic burst is the opening attack most of the time. After that it usually occurs if the player is too far away and it's very fun once you get the timing down. The unfortunate thing is that it has a poor punish window even if you're very close enough to reach Estelle within seconds after the attack. Waves of Darkness never was a concern but does prevent the player from staying underneath the boss which is something I appreciate though. Once again, the punish opportunity is very low and it's not a satisfying attack to avoid also. Maybe if it had shockwaves without the gravity damage instead, then it could have been more impactful and engaging. The tail slam is weird and not visually appealing. Simply running to the sides gets the job done, but it's never satisfying to pull off because it looks so poorly animated in my opinion. At least the punish window is very generous, especially when it usually occurs twice in a row. Nebula is something where the damage detection timing should have been better. With distinct animations, perhaps half of them should have been lethal, and the other half should leave openings to punish, which only a couple does allow time to squeeze in properly, which was satisfying to execute when the moment was appropriate. Vicious Bites was a problematic set of attacks. The telegraphing is terrible and prevented a lot of punish opportunities from other attacks. Whatever happened to the well telegraphed attacks from the armored spider from Demon Souls? This attack also didn't have a very good punish window. Meteorite of Estelle is one of the sloppiest moments in the fight, with running to the side at a far enough distance being the safest solution. It would have been better if you could time it properly to punish if you got close enough to attack Estelle by properly avoiding meteorites, but they track you all the way. It felt like a huge version of the Arcane Sky Barrage in the Rom the Vacuo Spider fight from Bloodborne, but less engaging. The Teleport Grab is the most problematic attack in the whole fight due to the poor indication of its positioning and occurrence. It's a good jump scare though, so I'll give it that. The Punish Window is actually decent if you evade the huge grab detection range. The Pincer Grab is probably my favorite attack, though it hardly ever occurred during practice runs. It's telegraphed well, though the range is oddly small for its buildup, but at least the punish window was good. The gravity slam is just a waste of time, and was clearly just there to look cool, nothing more. It's not satisfying to evade, and the punish window is really weak. The tail stab is another attack I love to see in punish. It's very well telegraphed and satisfying to time evading properly, similar to the small ranged nebula attack. The teleport has a fair tail before it occurs, and it's basically an arena observation warning because you're going to get a couple of outcomes from it. That's all I had to say about this fight, so sorry that this review was written on a moveset list evaluation format, but I really didn't find anything interesting about this boss combat-wise. I've seen this concept designed significantly better in Bloodborne, so talking about a downgraded version wasn't appealing to me.